Hi, I'm Dennis Blosser, CEO of Marietta Silos and USA Silos Service. We're here today to answer some of your frequently asked questions regarding silo construction, inspection, repair, and silo cleaning. One of the things that we do a lot of here at Marietta Silos is look at concrete silo roofs. Over the last five years, these roofs have become more of a hotbed of issues for the silo industry. We have found many roofs that are uh, substructural or have structural issues with them. Now a silo roof is typically supported on steel beams or bar joists that are then supported on a notch in the wall. Where that steel beam or bearing uh, connection is tends to be a problematic area, similar to the picture that's behind me. That beam then supports a concrete slab. So the things that we want you to look for are, is there any distress in that concrete slab? If that beam pocket starts to fail and that roof beam starts to settle, and then you have a gap between the top of the beam and the bottom of the concrete floor, a lot of times your concrete roofs will start to deflect. And one of the big things that you can see uh, is from that is ponding of water. If you have water that's ponding on top of that silo roof, that usually indicates that that roof is deflecting. And the reason of that is typically a, a problem with the support structure underneath of that. Also, where these steel beams sit on these bearings, um, a lot of times you can see on the outside of the silo in the wall, cracks in the concrete around that. So if you have a silo that you have ponding of water on, or if you have distress in the area of the beam pockets, that's time for a call to your silo inspection. Thank you for watching our video series. If you have any questions about a silo, just give us a call. We like talking about silos as much as we like working on them.